What's up, creating world? It's me creating today. As you've seen in the highlights, we kind of fast forward a little bit, man. Let's fast forward a little bit to the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl, kind of leading up to the NFL draft, and that if that you know a little bit more of that will be that it towards the end of this video. As you can see, first sack on the first play and the second play of the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Go for a TD, man. But they go down in March right down the field and put up seven. So UCF, I've, I've not known them to be good. But, you know, you can't sleep on nobody. As the quarterback does a smart thing, nobody open. He takes off and picks up the first down. What a way to hold on to that ball. First and ten. They ain't going to hit Martell out of the backfield. And he picks up 15, man. He is really trying to make a statement of this game, man. He's trying to show why he's one of the best in the nation. And again, I believe that's the same person. Yo, that's another sack, man. We, we, we do put three on the board, though. And you would think back-to-back -back sack, you would, you know, change up the coverage. It's Martell. He go the total opposite way. That's a that's touchdown, man. I'm calling it turning on the Jets. Let's go. Nobody in sight of this kid. This kid running up the numbers. I promise you he's going to do that this game. And just like that, man, we up 17-7. Another handoff, man. This offensive line is giving this room, this guy room to eat. And that's what he's doing, man. He's straight eating this game. You can't do nothing with our offensive line. And once again, another running lane. <laughs> Let's go. This kid displaying power, vision, speed, 
everything that you want out of the running back. Let's go set up first and go to read option untouched of the middle. Let's go. Let's get it. Man, we are up by 17. A little speed option. Oh, yeah. Take that. Juke him. He gone, man. This is another touchdown, baby. Let's get it. This dude is showing his ass, man. And just like that, man, we win the Tostitos for yesterday, Bowl. It's been a long time coming, man. This kid been playing this game since he was four years old. So now he got a very, very tough decision to make. It's one of the best in the nation. You know, you hot. Do you want to go to the draft? Do you want to stay? And if you stay, do you want to risk an injury and your draft stock fall down? So he really has a really tough decision to make. So say, stay tuned, man. He's going to get good. Man, it's been one hell of a season, man. But decision day, decision day, decision day. Go ahead to my parents' house. Get my pops' advice on what I should do. Should I stay? Should I go pro? Nobody's no best but him, man. He's been in my shoes. So what better way to get advice? Somebody who already been there. So hopefully he, he lead me the right way. Which I know he will. You know what, son? You had one hell of a season. One hell of a career. I'm very proud of you. Not only that, you showed your ass in that bowl game. <laughs> I get my talent for you and granddad, Pops. You know that. <laughs> yeah, I know. But each generation is better than the next. I think you got, you got that it factor, son. You definitely do. Speaking of it factor... I got a really serious question to ask that's been bugging me. I don't know whether I should stay in school or go pro. What do you think? Well, son, if you're asking me, you should ask yourself. You gotta outweigh your pros and cons. If the pros outweigh the cons, there's your answer. But if you do go pro, you better go back and get that degree because you know. I mean, your mom will be on your ass if you don't. <laughs> I got you, Pops. If that decision comes to that, I got you. I got you. You win, Mom. Well, Pops, I hate to cut the conversation short, but I need to go home and rest up. So, love you. And I, I'll call you Mom later. All right, son. Love you. <sighs> Plenty of time to think about it. I slept on it. I weighed the good and the bad. And you know what? This is a very tough decision I have to make. My decision? I've been dreaming about this since I was four years old. Now it's time to shine. For me, my decision was a no-brainer. I was hot. One of the best prospects coming out of college football. And going back and risking an injury? Nah, it wasn't for me. But you know what? I didn't get an NFL Combine invite either. But at my pro day? I straight showed out, put up 21 reps on the bench press. Yeah, 21 reps in my 40 time. People thought I was slow. I had to remind them how fast I was. So fast that they want to see my second 40 time again. First time, 4-4-3, official. Second run, identical time, 4-4-3. Now the scouts, they went back and looking at their notes and looking at game film. Yeah, from a day three prospect to potential second or third round pick, hell, I'll take that any day. That afternoon, I got a call from my agent telling me congratulations. I told him for what? He says, you know what? You went from a potential day three pick to a day two pick. And I told him, oh, I already know that. I got faith in my abilities. You know what? Whatever team get me, they're going to get the truth. I promise you that. Man, draft day. First round had gone by. Now it's the second round. It's been plenty of talent that have been drafted late. And just when I was about to head on out, I get a phone call. A 281 area code. I even told me to answer, so I did. We're gonna take you with this pick, all right? 
Congratulations.